since Frank Miller was an artist himself, how um, much freedom did you get in terms of, you know, he gives you the script and lets you envision it totally freely. And by the way, is it true that he um, added to the script since he saw what you were doing? Yes. Uh, because he and I came into the business roughly the same time, we worked from plots as opposed to scripted with dialogue. Mm -hmm. And we felt uh, that it, it allowed the artist to do more than what the writer was telling the artist to do. So Frank, ahead of our project, said, I'm giving you a plot, you do whatever you want, knock yourself out, I'll look at it and I'll tell you if I think I sh we should do anything. And he said, I'll write the dialogue according to the artwork. Mm -hmm. And he gave me freedom to do everything and anything I wanted because he knows what I can do storytelling wise. And, and then he wrote dialogue afterwards. And as he said, he'll adjust as he reads, as he sees what I give him. He says, I have an idea for an addendum in between page 17 and 18. And I thought two or three pages, it was 80 pages. And the book became 144 pages from, uh, from 64 and became a series. Because he, was, he tells me diplomatically that what I gave him to that point spurred him to add to it. Uh, I'm a cynic and I thought maybe he needed to fix things, but he's to this day says no, it's because it allowed us to do more work on it. And I'm very proud of that. Uh, and he says to this day that it's because of the work that I did that he wanted to add to it. And I'm very proud of that series, but that's a true story, yes. Have you ever received a better compliment than that? No. <laughs> from my father, from my father. He, my father always said the right words, but that, as from a writer, you're right, that's the greatest compliment I could get, yes.